so much. Thank you. Now I call upon Sri Kanakamita Laravindra Kumar. Well, that is your... No, you can take uh, your time. You can take your time. Sir, thank you, Deputy Chairman, sir, for giving this opportunity. The customary annual address of the Honorable President of uh, India to the members of the both the houses of Parliament has uh, certain constitutional sanctity. Sir, the main stakeholders to ensure such developed and modern India over the next 25 years are the state governments. Our country is a union of states. The state governments are primary agencies of the implementation of various developmental and welfare projects initiatives, both central and state governments. Nobody disputes the fact that all-round development progress of our country critically dependent on the effectiveness of the state governments. So, Honorable Chairman, sir, the limited time available to me, I would like to place on the record on my concerns that my party, TDP, as to how the present state of affairs and this in my state of Andhra Pradesh are proving to be a big hurdle realizing the dream of India that Honorable President uh, evinced in his address uh, to all the MPs on the on 31st of this month. I am sorry to state with the responsibility that the Andhra Pradesh is just in a state of total collapse. The Andhra Pradesh government has miserably failed to, in respect of parameters like administration, financial management, law and order that I have earlier referred in the progress. I would elaborate the same, sir. The state finances are utter chaos. The state government is just thriving and borrowing every day due to last two and a half years. The state government has borrowed over three and a half lakhs crores, various sources, and there is no proper accounts where the money is of care. New corporations are being created just the sole purpose of borrowing the funds to raise or spent on activities for which such corporations are set up. There is huge another diversion of funds. The August House will be stunned to know the borrowings have been made, making the Honorable Governor as a guarantor by the name of the individual capacity. Sir, situation is so bad in the state of Andhra Pradesh. The employees are not being paid in time. Pensions are auto in state daily distress as they did not uh, get their hand one, um, I mean, pensions in time. Reflecting the measure in the state of financial state, the further report last pay revision commission, the employees of the state wise now getting lower salaries. This because of the state government has not made any public policy, I mean, uh, public, the PRC report, and instead of acting the recommendations of the committee, now the employees are served a strike notice and are now taking roads against the state government. Sir, I feel ashamed to share that the August House that the Andhra Pradesh government is not sparing the poor and the weaker sections in mobilizing the resources to run the day-to-day -day 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 governance. To, enact, to give an example, the poor and the weaker sections have built small houses year back are now being faced to pay about 10,000 each other under one-time settlement scheme. The large number of volunteers engaged by the state governments are being forced to foul means to collect their monies from the poor and weaker sections. The honorable members will be shocked to know that the state government has mortgaged revenues from future liquor, from liquor sale of for a period of next 25 years in a, to raise borrowings. This is being done by the ruling party and that has promised during the election campaign of 2019 that liquor was banned gradually. In effect, the Andhra Pradesh government is running, pleasing the poor and weaker sections. The central government, through present address that we are now discussing, has called infrastructure development. It is a, I am sorry to stay, my fellow members, uh, that productive industrial economic activity in my state has come to a virtual halt. The Honorable President referred to study increase of GST revenues. The tax revenues has also substantially increased in recent times. Logically, revenues to my state have also been on raise. Still, infrastructure development has come to a complete halt in the state. Not even a kilometer of existing roads has been repaired since 2019, living alone, laying roads, new roads. Accidents due to, uh, to, due to poor roads and the attendance death are daily occurrence in my state. The poor are the worst hit due to a lack of basic transport infrastructure. The YSRCP government unmoved the situation so bad there is no response by the contractors to tenders floated by the state government. It because they knew that uh, the state government will not pay the works uh, uh, done by the, with the government uh, running on daily borrowings. Under the important gel measures, 500 crores has not been paid to the contractors. For the works done during the previous TDP government and the OSRCP government did not pay thousands of crores payment due to contractors, including Narega works. All funds have been diverted. It is only after a long legal battle, finally, under the orders of the High Court, some payments were made. So, uh, so the contract is not... Ravindu Kumar, 
प्लीज स्टॉप योर स्पीच यू विल कॉन्टिन्यू ऑन मंडे ठीक है ना ऑब्रेस्ट जो यू रिमोनिंग पार्ट ऑफ द स्पीच दैट विल यू कवर प्लीज ऑन मंडे ऑब्रेस्ट थैंक यू जो टाइम इज ओवर ऑलरेडी